Good morning. It's Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Between the Rock and Hard Place, and our scripture is Exodus chapter 5. So the slave drivers and foremen went out and told the people, This is what Pharaoh says. I will not provide any more straw for you. Go and get it yourselves. Find it wherever you can. But you must produce just as many bricks as before. So the people scattered throughout the land of Egypt in search of struggle to use a straw. Meanwhile, the Egyptian slave drivers continued to push hard. Meet your daily quota of bricks just as you did when we provided you with straw, they demanded. Then they whipped the Israelite foremen they had put in charge of the work crews. Why haven't you met your quotas either yesterday or today, they demanded. So the Israelite foreman went to Pharaoh and pleaded with him. Please don't treat your servants like this, they begged. We are given no straw, but the slave drivers still demand, make bricks. We're being beaten, but it isn't our fault. Your own people are to blame. But Pharaoh shouted, you're just lazy. Lazy! That's why you're saying, let's go and offer sacrifices to the Lord. Now, get back to work. No straw will be given to you, but you must still produce the full quota of bricks. The Israelite foremen could see that they were in serious trouble when they were told you must not reduce the number of bricks you make each day. As they left Pharaoh's court, they confronted Moses and Aaron who were waiting outside for them. The four men said to them, May the Lord judge and punish you for making us stink before Pharaoh and his officials. You've put a sword into their hands, an excuse to kill us. Then Moses went back to the Lord and protested, Why have you brought all this trouble on your own people, Lord? Why did you send me? Ever since I came to Pharaoh as your spokesman, he has been even more brutal to your people, and you have done nothing to rescue them. Four hundred years in captivity was a hard place. The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph were conscripts of Pharaoh's dynasty. They were forced to work endlessly just to stay alive and had nothing. Then things really got hard. Bondage is brutal, and that certainly is an understatement. Not just Israel, but humanity has been under something of bondage to COVID-19 and its cousins the past few years. Even if you've been blessed enough to have escaped having the virus, you know someone, perhaps many, who have had to tough it out like making bricks without straw. You've also seen what happens when the rock of struggle meets the hard place of frustration. Someone must take the blame. Pharaoh, like any pandemic virus, was an iron-fisted, hard-hearted tyrant. He threatened, bullied, and killed. His soldiers spread the virus of hate and oppression. The people, frustrated, having no place to turn for relief, blamed Moses for stirring up Pharaoh's anger. Moses went right to prayer and blamed God. Just a few plagues later, the slaves were seeing Egypt in the rearview mirror. Forty years after that, Moses saw the promised land from the mountaintop. But none of the original group, including Moses, ever set foot on the other side of Jordan. The conclusion is rather rock-like. Blaming someone else for your problems will get you somewhere, and it's often a harder place than the rock you are facing. For you today, when the temptation comes for you to blame someone or some pandemic or some circumstances or God for whatever trouble presents, let your prayer of surrender to God's will and care turn blame into blessing. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.